Hi, and welcome to our Streetscape update number seven. I'm Kim Best, and joining me in the studio is Mark Beach with TA Loving, the project manager who is heading up our Streetscape project here on Center Street in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Mark and I are going to discuss what has happened the past few weeks and what you can expect to see in the next coming weeks right downtown on Center Street. Welcome back, Mark. Glad to Thanks, have you. Thanks, Kim. Glad to be here. So you guys have been working hard trying to work around all this cold weather that's been happening and creeped up on us all of a sudden? Yeah, we still had some decent weather. We've had a little bit of rain lately, but it's we've been blessed with some really good weather on this job so far. We really have. Yeah, we've had some 70s and oh, yeah. high 60s yeah. right here in the middle of November. That's right. <laughs> I think they're getting tired guys. of working in short sleeve shirts. They're ready to put on a jacket. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. <clears throat> so in the past couple weeks since our last update, a lot has happened down on those three blocks of Center Street. Can you give us an, an update? Yeah, it's still a lot that you don't see, but uh, we have co completed the water line, the testing of the pressure, the uh, colonization has been completed, so we are uh, connecting buildings to the new water service, which we're pretty much complete. We'll finish that up this week on the uh, west side, all the way down the southbound lane. Uh, we'll have all the new services tied in. Um, that frees us up to be able to start removing the old water line and then by removing the old water line we're able to start putting in the storm sewer. Uh, we've completed the sidewalks all the way down the first two blocks and the right-of-way curb is complete all the way through to Spruce Street. So all three blocks are complete with that and we've got the sidewalks formed up ready to pour in the third block. We should complete that this week also. That's visible signs that right. you can see of, as far as finishes that are going in. Uh, other than that, everything's pretty much underground. We've run the conduit for the new electrical lines. We're ready now, and especially in the first block, for Duke Power to come in and start pulling their wires. We'll start changing over the power connections and, and get the poles down out of the way in the first block. Uh, we have completed the conduits down all the way through the second block, and we should be getting into the third block starting today, uh, putting those conduits and uh, boxes in for the sidewalk pour and that way we'll be ready for Duke to go all the way through once they get started and we can get the poles down on the uh, westbound side. So two blocks, the, the uh, sidewalks are completed. Mm -hmm. The third block you guys will be working on the next week or so. Yeah, well, we'll finish the third block with the sidewalk this, this week. week. Should finish it okay, this week. Okay, so well before Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. And then, so so much is happening underground that we can't see. Right. It's not visible to us. Right. Um, so before Thanksgiving, we're still going to see quite a bit of action happening. Oh yeah. Up until a day or two before Thanksgiving, right? Right, because we'll, the equipment will be back out there digging out uh, to remove the water lines and, and put the storm drain in. Once we get to that point, put the storm drain in, we're ready to start putting in the special uh, soil, the stay light that goes in underneath the planting areas, and then we can get it on grade and be ready to start pouring curbs on that side, and that'll open us up to being able to start working on finishes. Well, these new businesses, or not new businesses, but the businesses downtown that are going to have new water pressure. Right. Tell us, other than the amount of water pressure that is changing, what might the, some of the business owners see? Uh, well, they'll definitely see a better water pressure. They may see a situation where it pushes some uh, rust and stuff out of their existing lines if they have the old uh, galvanized type lines mm -hmm. and so they may see a little bit of that in their water but other than that they should have uh, better water pressure and, and uh, be in good shape there. So if they see a little bit of rust or, or dirt coming through their water it's just from where it's been in their lines and the pressure is right. just pushing it out so right. there's nothing wrong with their right. water. And usually a spigot will have a filter on it that'll just take that loose get the dirt off of it and it'll flow fine. Well, they will, I can assure you they will probably much appreciate to have this tremendous amount of water pressure right. they're going to have that they have not had in years and years. Yep. <laughs> so I know they'll be glad to have that. Well, what is there anything else that the business owners should be aware of in the next two weeks? Uh, other than we'll have you know, big equipment out in front of the buildings again, right. digging up and putting in storm sewer lines. No, it's pretty much work as, work as, as normal usual. for it going down through the blocks, yep. Well, on Saturday, December th the 6th, is our downtown Goldsboro Christmas Parade, right. which is always right here on Center Street, and will be again this year. Right. Things are going to be a, a little bit different just in the, the route that we'll be taking, but how will that affect um, the community with you all working downtown? Well, of course, the day of the parade, we'll try to stay away from doing any work on that day, and, and I know people will be standing over on the fence side uh, and plus on the side that's still open 
uh, they won't be able to park down through there like they normally right. have been. And then, of course, the parade will come down Center Street, go up to Ash, turn around and come back and cut over Mulberry to John Street. But as far as uh, everything should be in safe conditions, as far as elevations on the roads where we've done any work or in the intersections, uh, we won't have anything open or blocked there so that it can flow right on through. Perfect. So the main change is this one year because of the construction, there's a little bit less room, of course, on the street. We're asking people not to park downtown right. on Center Street directly. Right. You can park in the parking areas or on side streets, but not on Center Street directly right. where the parade route will run. Right. Uh, in the past, people have been able to sit in their backs of their trucks and various things and be able to watch the parade from the convenience of their mm -hmm. vehicles. But this year, due to the construction, we're asking people not to park on Center Street in the construction site right. area. Um, that's Saturday, December the 6th at 4 o'clock. Right. <laughs> So coming up next two weeks, lots of changes happening. And our next, this is our seventh update, right. but our eighth update, we're going to do things a little bit different, right, Mark? Right, be out on the site. We're going to be actually out on the construction site. We're going to put you to all see. to work. <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> hard hats and all. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to be out on the <laughs> sites, letting people see what has happened and been taking place. But we want to remind folks, you all have webcams that are videoing every single day, right. 24 hours a day what is happening downtown. We have two different webcams, and they can get to that from our website. One is at the, on the top of the Paramount Theater. Right. So you get that direction of what's happening on Center Street, and the other is over here in front of City Hall. Right. So at any time, folks can go on their computer, actually look at the webcam and see day or night from the convenience of their computer right. what's happening. And it's, it's an interesting sight to see the transformation of from day one to what is happening up to now. Right. And exciting to see what's going to be happening by November of 2015. Right, and pretty soon it'll be, you'll start seeing the changes where right now everything's still pretty much hidden underground, but you'll start seeing the changes take shape uh, in the coming weeks. So. so let's remind folks again, when this project is finished, November 2015, what will Center Street look like? Well, you'll have uh, wider sidewalk areas for the restaurants to be able to put seating out in front, uh, be the concrete sidewalk and then pavers out to the road You'll have a, the median going down the middle will have seating areas midways between each intersection uh, for there be game tables in some of them. Then you've got the roundabouts that will be going in the three intersections, Mulberry, Walnut, and uh, Chestnut. And one of them at Walnut will have a fountain. And, That's going to be uh, beautiful. Yeah. And then the other two are going to have some type of art feature that you are going to be doing there. But it's, it's going to be a big difference. It's going to look a whole lot different. It's going to look like... And no electrical well. poles down the That's street. That's what I was going to say. No, no electrical poles, poles coming over the streets. That's They'll right. all be underground. Right. Um, no stoplights. Right. It's going to be all the roundabouts. So big, big changes happening on Center Street. Yep. Uh, downtown Goldsboro is going to have a major transformation. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be beautiful. And oh, it's yeah. going to be similar to what has taken place already and been completed in front of City Hall. Right. But with our roundabouts happening all three locations, right. it's really going to change the look of downtown. And you're still going to have parking on both sides oh, of each lane going down through there, so you'll be able to pull up right at the buildings, and you'll still have plenty of parking there. So, well, how is the parking going to be changed? Be a little bit different than the what only I've difference seen in the past. will be uh, in front of the actual buildings. Instead of having the angled parking, you'll have parallel parking going down. But in the median, there'll still be the angled parking, so that. It, it allows more parking going down through there, but you won't have the angled parking right in, front in front of the, of the buildings. Just mm -hmm. parallel. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, we're excited to see what's going to happen in the next two weeks, Mark, and we will look forward to being on location. Okay. Our next Streetscape update, so thank you for being with us today. All right. Once again, this is our Streetscape update number seven, talking about Center Street, Goldsboro, North Carolina. If you want to find out more about what's happening in your community and our Streetscape project, you can go to the city's website, goldsboronc.gov, click on the Streetscape button on your right, and it'll take you to all the information you could possibly want to know about these projects and also our other projects happening downtown Goldsboro. So thank you for being with us. Follow us also on our Facebook page, City Government of Goldsboro. We'd love to hear from you if you have questions or information you'd like to share. And this is what's happening, Streetscape Update number 7.